Hello everyone, my name is Trevor, and welcome to Dawngate. This is a free-to-play MOBA that is in closed beta that I was recently told about by my friend Redby15, who recommended it to me. So he sent me over an uh, invite, and I have been happily playing it ever since. So this is a, a short overview and introduction to the game. So if we open up the shop here, we see that we have a couple of different stats here. Now these items branch off into recipes that, um, how do I put this, that are based off of the original item. So like if I click on life, everything that branches off from it is going to be life. Um, and so on and so forth for the rest of them. So if we go over to our consumables, you see we have our standard consumables. Um, if we go down here, we see that we have wards. So if I place a ward here, uh, a timer starts down here. You see it lasts for 180 seconds, and I can place another ward after that. So I never have to buy wards. But on the flip side, I don't think you can buy any. So you don't really have, uh, you know, too much as far as warding the map goes. It's just up to people to place their one ward. So this is our guardian here. Pretty cool stuff, kind of like Smite, how there is a um, an NPC instead of a building that you have to kill at the end. Um, but you can't kill him until you destroy all of these buildings here. So these buildings, um, I believe, all attribute to stats in the game somehow. I think it might be your minions, I'm not sure. Either way, you destroy all of them and you can start attacking this guy and the entire time you're doing that he can attack you so he could be pretty deadly he has a lot of AOE and stuff and he also gives um, the defending um, the what are they called they're not champions they're called uh, shapers he gives the defending shapers some buffs so let's move down the lane here there's two lanes in this game but if we go down here we see our first tower these are called bindings pretty standard stuff but if we keep going we see um, eh, jungle stuff, and then we come over here and we see this is this is a spirit well. Now spirit wells are kind of cool. If you see, we have these workers here. These workers are gathering vim. Vim is the currency in this game. So if an enemy shaper were to come over and kill all of these workers, um, it, our vim regeneration or our vim generation, I should say would drastically slow down for a while until these guys little these little guys respawn. Now if we look at the top of the the uh, screen here, we also see some timers. Um, once these timers finish, an enemy shaper or multiple enemy shapers could come over and capture this. And capturing this is pretty valuable because it gives you um, faster vim generation and it also gives you more bounty to, to, to collect when uh, they kill our enemy shapers. Or our shapers. So if I hold th two or three of these for a while, this bounty builds up and I can collect that when I kill enemy shapers. Um, this right here, I'm not sure which buff this is. I'm still fairly new to the game. But this is uh, a buff and then it might be a power buff or this might be the power buff right here. Um, right here you have the blue buff which is cooldown reduction. And... You can see the, the minions over there going at it. Um, there are larger minions called Striders, and I believe they become more powerful the more bind, uh, the more towers you kill. So here's the blue buff here. Uh, let's see here. Let's move over to the middle. So on the middle we have what's... Oh, he hasn't spawned yet. Interesting. I'm not exactly... Maybe he spawns at five minutes. But this is called the Parasite and he's also kind of unique because he will evolve two times during the game so starting at what i'm guessing is five minutes he spawns and you can kill him at your current level with your uh with your friends and as the game progresses he he evolves and becomes more difficult and does so once more each time taking a new form and i'm not sure if he gains additional abilities but he does seem to have single target and aoe abilities so let me take my my uh, sheep toss skill here, and uh, let's let's toss it. And if I toss it, it does some damage. If I press it again, boom! I dash towards it. 
there are lots of dashes and gap closers in this game. Uh, let me let me take blink. You you know you got your blink right here. Then once I reach level 10, I will be given an, the choice of another spell, and then at 20, yet another spell. So I can get a total of three spells. Um, so yeah, lots lots of lots of movement, lots of spell casting, lots of stuff going on in this game. Uh, let me guys show you some of the animations here. Oh, let's see, five minutes hit. We hit five minutes. Let's see if the the parasite is here. Yeah, you see he's here right, right now. Pretty cool. Okay, let's show you my dance. Very, very detailed and smooth animations, I must say. Check this out. Boom. Just casually hitting my sheep into the air and getting hit by it in the back. I, I don't know, I found that kind of amusing. Um, yeah, there seems to be some fairly high polished production quality in here. I'm very impressed. Sound effects are great. Animations are great. I think it looks great. I really like the, the look they went for here. Uh... And yeah, just overall, been having a lot of fun with it. I would highly recommend it, you guys. I'm going to make a couple more videos, uh, you know, going over some of the stuff in this game as I learn it. But I just wanted to show you guys what this game looks like, what it's about. And you should go sign up for the closed beta and come play with me. If you follow me on Twitter, at GTFreed, um, I will be giving away keys as I get them. I don't currently have any right now, but yesterday I got a beta key from them and I put it up on my Twitter for whoever wants to redeem it and yeah just trying to spread the word about a game that I think is really cool um, I'll show you on the screen here at the end of the game you are given a screen where you can give um, enemies and allies karma so they kind of you know present that a little different differently than other games they kind of put it right there in your face so um, if you thought anyone you know was particularly friendly or outstanding or a good player or whatever a good sport you can give them some karma and on the same note, once you hit the scoreboard, you can right-click on their names and report them if you if they left. There seems to be a good amount of leavers and AFKers right now, uh, but the community as a whole so far is pretty cool. I've had a lot of good experiences playing this game. No one's getting super angry or anything. Um, none of that. None of that standard League of Legends banter going on. Just a overall better group of people so far. I know that you know if you get many millions of people playing your game it does uh it does open the floodgates to other people but so far pretty cool stuff uh so yeah this has been the uh introduction slash overview that i'm giving you guys a little first look at dawn gate i hope you guys enjoyed many more videos of this game to come and i will see you in the next video hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you all later